4,384. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't hear you come in. I was just counting the uh, small holes on the ceiling. Um, that's all right. I'll 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 remember where I was. Any rate, now that you're here, I'd like to show you a tip or trick for making Google searches where you can kind of control uh, what content you get back from your search. Now, the key for this is doing a site search. If you add in the phrase site colon dot edu, like I did right here, every single Google search term will be coming from an edu site. So oh, I got these mixed up. So if you look at this, where I did monkfish site edu, because I just want to learn about monkfish from schools. If you notice this right here, this is from the University of Maine dot edu. Uh, here, this is from sunny sb school dot edu. Looks like they have a seafood recipe. Uh, here's one from scholar works, which is another school dot edu. And every single one of these websites is from a school. Uh, another one you can do is uh, if you do site dot gov, that means that everything you get is going to be a document from the government. Here I did monkfish site dot gov. And you notice my results are totally different. Now I have um, monkfish from a government website on fisheries. Uh, quite a few, actually. Oh, fishwatch.gov, my favorite uh, government fish watching website. Here's one from the state of Massachusetts if you want to learn about monkfish. Uh, so when you do research topics, excuse me, when you do research topics, this is a way to get sources from uh, more credible institutions um, like schools or the U.S. government. Anywho. Just wanted to share uh, how these websites work. And uh, I'll switch these around before I give them to students. Okay, that's all I got. 4,384.